Okay, guys, so back with you here. So Ripple to the dollar was the clear pick for our, our third here. You gotta love Ripple Warriors, right? No, nobody more loyal than uh, the Ripple Hodlers. Uh, boy, it's been a long, long, long winter for them. Um, but, you know, I don't really have any particular bias here. Of course, I'd like to see Ripple do well. Right? If you've, well, there's all sorts of good reasons for that. Now, now of course, you, know, you can come. I did a couple of things here. I mean, you know, of course, Lunar Crush worth worth having a look over here. I, I do like the site. Pretty good. Right? So, set, you know, any on their Galaxy score, anything over 50 is strong for the project. Number five here now, alt rank is relative to Bitcoin, so it's moved up here rather high. It's up 26 spots in the last 24 hours. So it's getting some attention, some traction. Then over here, coin check up, right? It's, it's not a bad idea just to come over, check a couple of different sites like this that have different algorithms here. So also pretty high on their score here. Strong buy technically and with regards to their algorithm. All good places just to get a feel. Okay, what's the what's the general consensus? What's the buzz? What's the feeling on this on the space? Now this is there's been a lot of heartbreak break. Well, what would I, how would I say that heartbreak? Outs, <laughs> so a lot of heartbreak here on on what what had appeared to be heartbreaks, but this was the final boy that really crushed, and because this looked like maybe that was a start on something, so you got to rebuild again. Now here I'm just wicking off, you know, clear clear areas of potential resistance. It's going to have to work its way through. So if indeed we've got we've got the start on perhaps a one and a two is going in, if we're going to go up that get that three that four, right? So first test is can't well. well we got a couple of things we got to deal with from this corner. Can we get to the median line? And if we can, can we get through and break all this, this obvious structural resistance here and get up here? Now we've broken this trend line here, right? So well, channel trend line, same difference. So that's a good, good sign here. We we have the break, but we bumped right into this structure from these prior pivots here. So prior support, holding us back here at least for the time being, right? Then I could change any minute. So there's no. You know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be overly cautious. Now, it is interesting to note here the high volume note here. Now, granted, I'm out here on an eight, eight, eight hour here, but as we bump into that high volume, that could be some structural resistance. And then, if we zoom in a little bit, right, you know where we're going next. Now, we got to look at any algorithmic participation. So, from here to here, well, here's the 50. Now, we're going to come up and. You'll note here, if we're going to get from this corner here, if this corner pocket's going to hold, we can get up here. Well, we, we're, through, we're through the 50. Look at the first reaction here. Right? Now we're through the through the trend line. Now we got to get through the golden zone to get up to tag that median line. So don't assume anything, right? It's, it's easier. I've been talking about this a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Your, your, uh, your mind will kind of fill in the space for you. you. You'll just see, oh, that's where it's going, right? You can, right? You'll just, oh, it's going. Mm. Don't make those assumptions. I, I always find it's better to assume that a trend line or a resistance zone will break rather than, uh, pardon me, will hold rather than assume it'll break. Let's get that dialed in here. All right, I, I want to assume first that it's going to hold. So I make the market prove it, right? Prove it to me that you're through. Here, here's another that you got to be really careful about, right? You, you know, get right here to the 65 and you and you buy it early, right? And you <laughs> trust me, I've tried it. Well, so the, the the challenge here is the the start here is is sloppy, like you know, so much of Bitcoin, ETH, all of them. The start is really ugly. It's very hard to get to get a clean count that would would, would encompass every single pivot here. I I just couldn't get it. So you have two choices. So you get this this little structural zone here. Either you got to label this as a truncated fifth. Or you're gonna put, you're gonna come back to reconcile this once we get some sense of where we're going here. Right? Is this just another corrective move? Well, then you're less concerned about trying to find the impulse down here. It's, it's boy, it's really tough to get. Even if well, let's go to a three-hour. Zoom in on this beginning. I, I just eventually there is a little five here, so I, I'm I'm just starting it here. It's, it's too much. I, until until I, I'm forced to relabel this truncated or with this is a larger degree one two well it doesn't quite fit so I'm just I'm kind of just leaving it alone here I don't need it I don't have to have that little pivot account, accounted for in order to trade this because coming off of that pivot oh shit I know that gets really crowded. Okay, so coming off of this pivot, I can get the the diagonal into my into a larger degree one here. This is a good luck on that, right? So you need you need 
you need you need the one here so you can get to the a b c here a b c here a b c here a b c then i get my overlap a b c so i get a leading diagonal here and note three longer than one five longer than three so you've got all all everything you'd look for excuse me in a leading diagonal tighten that up all right so i've got a, just a perfect leading diagonal here even if i pull from the proposed start of the one here's my four well you know I, Perfect, perfect space would be right at the 50. Right? I'm, I'm not concerned that I'm between the 38 and the 50, two and through. Uh, if I think, I think if I go to here, well now we're 50. We're still, we're kind of in between first, second target. Right, I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about it. I can, I can see the diagonal that completes here. Now A, B, C. Now what's interesting is, I'm, so I'm gonna just pull this off here and call this kind of the mystery demand zone down here. If I pull from this proposed pivot down here, get it right on here, what do I do? Right, golden zone. So, right, so that kind of reinforces the idea here. Well, I'm not sure, I get that right on here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna reconcile that, but it's not gonna keep me out of taking a trade here. So the the, the beautiful golden zone here, right? So you, you see, that that's what I'm trying to get to here. I, I, can't, I don't know how to label this. I'm not sure yet. But if I work from this pivot, I've got perfect technical precision. I've got my perfect leading diagonal. I got my nice ABC, if I'm not mistaken there. This was also golden zone, All right? Now, so there's a great, gosh, same thing every time. Every time I do one of these videos, All right? So we come right to golden zone. What do we do? Now we come down here. It's after this target. You see, it's after that target, right? What denies it, right? The algorithm on the other side. Right, takes it. Now what do we do? We go right back to golden zone. Right, I bet you that's a 50. Now, so eventually we get through. So this algo is now out of business on this tr on this trade. All right, so they're out. So this guy t wins the day. Now is he going to go up here? Well, you got to you got to watch for any any potential algorithmic resistance from above, which we just Jesus, we just drew that up. So can I get there? Well, if I'm pulling from swing high to swing low, right? Look what's right in the middle. So this gives me higher odds that I can get, at least get into the middle of that. So I'd be right in the middle of the golden zone. Look here, I've got this little structure right, ah, come here, right there as well. Just to line up with that target. I get it right there. So now, now, now you got a real interesting algo battle because you got this golden corner here fighting to get to that median line, but you got to get through one, you're going to get through the, the, the reaction that's likely to be there as you, as you have this combined Confluence here where you have an algo target right in the middle of a golden zone, right? How often do you see that? So you you might you might see that right and might need another take at it, right? Of course, it should, it could just just blow right through it and go get get the median line But don't make assumptions, right? There's just no no need to so if you were if you're long off of the one two and You know, maybe you've got it labeled differently, right? This is definitely problematic for a purist, right? A purist is gonna go no, you're can't work that way. Well, I, I've got enough technical confluence here that I, I'd be looking on the long side. So it looks like if this is one, two at the at a larger degree that I've, I can go one, two, looks like I'm in my third here. So if I just just label it up, one, two, looks like three's going, or where am I, how far am I gonna get? Now let's, oh, here, let's get that over. Um, we'll go back to white so we can see it. All right, so can I get up to that third? Well, I've got structural, I've got price action resistance, I've got algo resistance, I've got a median line to deal with. Only thing I can say for sure, I'm through the 50 and I've broken through that trend line. Looks like and now I'm going to come back and test from the other side. You think about where, where we might be going, length of the one predicted from the two. Well, geez, look at this confluence right here. So now I've got the 1618175 right in the middle of that golden zone where I've got the, the target from below, which is all there to potentially deny the tag of the median line. So this is gonna be interesting to see who wins the day here, right? Do we do we pivot, right? Is it the median line gonna win it? We're gonna pivot here. If we, note, if we go get the median line and, and realize that 80%, well, you've broken the sell side and you've broken the algo from this side. Right, that, that's what a bull's hoping here. We can get through that, tag this three, sets up the four perhaps down to the lower parallel, or you might use right, this as some potential structure here. If, if we go up, candidate for the four, you know, any of these. Right? So if, if it goes up and we come back down, we do it in ABC, something like that, where you get the confluence of the lower parallel and the, and the tree. The trend channel as a trend line, now that might be what you need to get up here. Well, if you do, 
where are you in the count? Well, you wouldn't be right the the three from the larger degree, right? You'd be a little you'd be coming up shy. So maybe you're at the one two seven here because that we we know that the negative one hundred up here will be our shorthand for the one six one eight. So this the the second target is your shorthand for the one two seven one three eight two. So we look at that from the I'm going to use the lower pivot. Or excuse me. All right, so here's the one. Here's the 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 negative six one eight, which is the shorthand for the one two seven one three eight two, which is the second most common target for a third. So if we're gonna go up and get that, nothing says we have to go to the one six one eight. Could could do it here. Could could put the the fifth here. Then you got the the four down here. And now you're trying to get the five. Maybe it's the five that gets the one six one eight. So you'd be anticipating a little three comes down here. And now you're after the five. All right, now you've completed, what have you completed? Just the one, two, the third, mm, pardon me, three, four, yeah, that would do it. Yeah, so you, you would be completing the one, two, three, four, five, right? and you know, again, we're just kind of got to lay out a roadmap there. So you'd have completed the one, two, three, four, five off of the low, so you'd have your first impulse. Now I know I got to, that gets hard to see, I get it. All right, so let's get all this stuff off here. All right, so as, as it sits right now, we're just, you know, lo looks like right now path of least resistance is higher, but we do have all of that, re all of that resistance to deal with. So you just, you tee it up, look for low probability, pardon me, low risk, high probability entry zones. Do I have one now? Well, I, again, th this is me. Like, I, I would never buy that. Just wouldn't. Right? So I, I would wait until I get my first. Right. So I'm, so, somewhere up here, I'm going to get a pivot. Right. I know I've got all that structure. Give me that little three. Right. This right here, I love. Right. If I can get that, that's let it go up. Prove it to me. Come back down. Kiss the trend line. Kiss the up the lower parallel. That I'm in all day. But I'm not. That's that's not buy and hold. Right. That's because you're you're looking to at the very least take a partial. Right. And then reload. Right now, you're adding with house money. You're adding with house money. That'd be your target right, to complete this. Now again, right now, that's an awfully big two for how skinny that might be. So you know, you gotta wait and see. Right now, I'm just it looks like I'm on my way for that third, but I know I got all that resistance. I gotta dig through. So the market's really gotta prove itself. Looking down here, well, we're getting a little hot. Right, this is all good. A little hot on the RSI, but of course it can it can stay up there, and you'd you, you well, you'd rather not see a full loop, right? You'll notice here often it'll it'll retrace to the 50, and that can be a good entry zone to confirm the strength of trend that we're not going to make a full loop down like we did here, right? But that, see, sometimes when you get a full loop in the RSI, it doesn't necessarily mean that price has dramatically moved. It's just, it's just the reload. It's the energy reload. You, you need this. So when you can buy it with the RSI down here, you have all that upside potential. It's really what you're after there. So right now, you're hurry up and wait, but encouraging signs for the, for the ripple bull. Yeah, but I don't, I, I wouldn't buy it yet. Right, but over here, right, confirm the three that I'm in a third here. I'll take the four into the five, then that confirms I'm in the three. I'll do the same thing, four to the five. And if that completes, well, then you're anticipating something bigger to come down here, and that's that's the bigger one. Now you're going into your money wave, right? A third of the, going into the third at the at the higher degree. Mm, I don't think there's anything else to add there. All right, so this is a long wait, long wait to get some traction here, right? So again, there's been a lot of heartbreak breakouts, right? So don't assume anything. Let the market prove it. Okay, guys, talk to you later.